Hey, peace and love, everybody. It's Ben here. Welcome back to another practice with us here at Daily Sadhana. Today is going to be a nice energetic practice where we can get into the whole body, building some strength and some mindfulness, and also creating some new space in a variety of ways. So let's go ahead and get started in Downward Facing Dog. When I go into my Downward Facing Dog, I like to start in a plank pose to measure myself, get the appropriate distance between my hands and feet, and then I like to bend my knees and press my hips back, Down Dog. And sometimes I like to bring my feet a little wider because that feels stable to me. And I really try to find a push through the arms, push through the armpits, find lots of energy here, lots of energy in the hips lifting up to the sky. From downward facing dog, let's take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, big step as the right foot travels to the outside of the right hand. Come on the fingertips if you want. You can drop the left knee down to the mat and then twist your right hand up to the sky. Find an easy twist. You can stay there or you can bend your left knee, flex the heel back toward the glute and reach back and maybe find a connection of your right hand to your left foot. Wherever you're at, breathe into your twist. Let the body open. And then release your foot. Try not to fling the foot too much. And then bring the right fingertips down. Pull the hips back in space. And bring yourself into a pyramid pose. Keep your right foot wide, so you don't need to bring your right foot back to the middle of your mat. You can keep the foot wide, flex the right toes back, and then from here we'll shift forward, bend into your right knee, and then step forward, left foot outside of the left hand. Reach the arms forward and sit low into this active squat position. Knees are traveling wide, knees facing the same direction over the toes, spine is long, inhale. Exhale, stand up, straighten your legs and pull your hands to your hearts. Inhale, reach arms up to the sky. Ordva Hastasana, engage the glutes, press the hips forward. Exhale, sit back down into your active squat. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, bring your palms to the mat, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale here. Exhale, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Big inhale, exhale out. Sweep your left leg up, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, big circle step, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the right knee down, twist left hand up. Stay here in a twist. You could even bring the left hand to your knee and kind of push yourself open. Or if you want a little more, bend your right knee, hug the heel in towards the glute, and reach the left foot back to, or excuse me, reach the left hand back to your right foot or ankle. And then just feel things open up a little bit. The breath is key, so the opening happens with the breath. We can set up the container for opening with the position of the body, but the real opening happens when the breath is able to travel through. Release your foot if you have it. Come down, pyramid pose, pull the hips back. You don't have to fully straighten the left leg unless you want to. Keep the left foot wide, flex the toes back toward the shin, long in the spine, light in the hands. Inhale. Exhale, start to bend into the left knee. And then take a big step, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Sit the hips low, reach the palms forward, inhale. Exhale, stand up and pull your hands to your heart. Inhale, engage the glutes and reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, sit back down into your active squat with hands at prayer. Inhale, palms to the mat. Exhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Inhale, look out in front of you. Exhale, return to downward facing dog. Left foot meets the right foot. Take a deep bend into both knees. 
and then ripple into a plank position as you shift the hips forward in space. We'll take a full push up here, so lower to chaturanga, keep the elbows in, and then rise back up. Drop the knees down to the mat, drop the forearms down to the mat, and then pull yourself through. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, sweep right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step right foot to the outside of the right hand. Inhale, keep the knee lifted this time, but twist the right hand up to the sky. And then listen carefully, exhale, step left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, reach both arms forward, active squat. Exhale, stand up and pull your hands to heart center. Inhale, engage glutes and sweep arms up to the sky. Exhale, sit low in your hips and pull your hands down to your heart. Inhale, bring the palms down to the mat. Exhale, step your left foot, then your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, big wide step, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Inhale, twist the left hand to the sky. Go ahead and give this a try. Exhale, step, right foot outside of right hand. Test your balance. Inhale, arms come forward, active squat. Exhale, stand up and pull your hands to your heart. Inhale, Ordva Hastasana, engage glutes, lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, sit back down, hands through heart center. Inhale, palms touch the mat, little bend in the elbows. Exhale, right foot, then left foot steps back, downward, facing dog. Inhale, ripple into a plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga, slowly lower. Inhale, back up to plank. Exhale, drop knees and forearms and shift the hips back in space. Look forward, inhale, pull yourself through, upward facing dog. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift right leg to the sky, three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, step right foot to the outside of the right hand. Inhale, twist right hand up to the sky. Test your balance, exhale, left foot steps outside of left hand. Inhale, sweep arms forward, active squat position. Exhale, stand up, straighten legs, pull hands to heart center. Inhale, engage glutes and sweep arms to the sky, Ordva Hastasana. Exhale, sit low in the hips, bring hands to your hearts. Inhale, palms meet the mat. Exhale, left foot, then right foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot, big sweeping step outside of the left hand. Inhale, twist your left hand up to the sky. Exhale, test your balance and step the right foot wide outside of your right hand. Inhale, both arms forward, active squat, sit low. Exhale, straighten legs, pull hands to heart. Inhale, Ordva Hastasana, engage glutes, arms to the sky. Exhale, sit low and find your squat. Inhale, palms to the mat. Exhale, right foot, then left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into a plank position. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, drop knees and forearms, shift the weight back. Inhale, pull your being through, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll yourself back, downward facing dog. Last round, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, big step, right foot outside of right hand. Inhale, twist right hand up to the sky. Exhale, test your balance, left foot steps outside of left hand. Inhale, arms sweep forward, active squat. Exhale, pull the hands to your heart. Inhale, engage glutes and sweep arms to the sky. Exhale, sit low in the hips, control your space. Inhale, both palms to the mat. Exhale, left foot steps back, followed by right foot to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, big circle step, left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, twist the left hand up to the sky. Look down, exhale, step forward, right foot outside of right hand. Inhale, arms reach forward, active squat position. Exhale, stand and pull your hands to your heart. Inhale, engage glutes, arms to the sky. Exhale, slowly sit back down. Inhale, palms to the mat. Exhale, right foot, then left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward into your plank position. 
Exhale, control your lower to chaturanga. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, drop knees, drop forearms. Look forward, inhale, pull yourself through. Find your upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, find your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Sweep right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Step right foot through to the top of the mat. Right foot to right thumb this time. So we're not stepping wide, we're stepping uh, normal. <laughs> Drop your left knee to a hover and then rise up to a double bent leg lunge. Take an inhale. Exhale, drive the heel back, straighten your left leg. Bring your hands to heart center. Lean out, crouching warrior three. Take an inhale. Exhale, option to drive to straighten your right leg. Rebend your right knee, slowly land the left foot at the back of the mat, reach your arms up to the sky, take an inhale. Exhale, start to bend your elbows, bring thumbs to nape of neck, elbows to the sky, soften your back knee. On your next inhale, expand, reach the hands behind you, look up to the sky, straighten your left leg, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog, right foot to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Left foot, left thumb. Drop the right knee to a hover. Rise up to double bent leg lunge. Take an inhale. Exhale, drive the heel back. Straighten through your right leg. Bring the hands to heart center. Begin to lean out. Warrior three. Crouching warrior three, that is. Take an inhale. Exhale, option to drive to straighten your left leg. Slowly rebend your left knee, land the right foot at the back of the mat, inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend elbows, thumbs to nape of neck to prepare. Inhale, expand, reach the arms behind you, look up to the sky, drive the right heel back behind you. Exhale, hands down to the ground, frame yourself. Inhale, three-legged dog, left foot up to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, energetically step to the top of the mat. Bend your left knee to a hover. Inhale, rise up to stand. Double bent leg lunge. Exhale, drive the heel back, straighten your left leg behind you. Inhale, lean out to crouching warrior three. Exhale, stay here or drive to straighten your right leg. Inhale, rebend your standing knee, drop the left foot behind you. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, bring thumbs to nape of neck and soften your back knee. Inhale, expand, back bend, open. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog, right foot up to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog, lower the right foot next to the left. Inhale, reach left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot up toward left thumb, top of the mat. Right knee lowers to a hover. Inhale, arms up to the sky, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, drive to straighten right leg. Inhale, begin to lean out, crouching warrior three. Exhale, drive to straighten left leg. Inhale, rebend the standing knee. Drop back into high crescent lunge, arms up, inhale. Exhale, thumbs to nape of neck, soften. Inhale, expand, drive the right heel back, lift the arms, lift the chest, back bend. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale to three-legged dog, left foot up to the sky. Exhale to downward facing dog, return, last round. Inhale, right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot up to right thumb, double bent leg lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drive to straighten your back left leg. Inhale, lean out, find your crouching warrior. And then exhale, drive to straighten your standing right leg if you want to. Inhale, slowly step back, find your high crescent pose. Exhale, thumbs to nape of neck, prepare. Inhale, reach back and open. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog as the right foot sweeps up to the sky. Exhale, return to down dog. Last side, inhale, left leg sweeps up. Exhale, step left foot to left thumb. Right knee drops to a hover, inhale, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, drive to straighten the right leg behind you. Inhale, lean out, find your warrior three. Exhale, option to drive to straighten left leg. 
Inhale, step back and find your high crescent lunge. Exhale, thumbs to nape of neck. Prepare for the back bend. And then inhale, find the back bend. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose, come forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, rise back up to plank. Exhale, drop knees and forearms. Inhale, pull yourself through, find upward facing dog. Exhale, roll yourself back, find downward facing dog. One more like that, inhale, roll forward into plank pose. Chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, drop knees and forearms. Inhale, pull through, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, step to the middle of your mat. Malasana squat. Sit low. This is kind of like our active squat that we did earlier, except it's a bit more of a passive squat, if you will. Still active to me. <laughs> Still active to me, but maybe not quite as active as when our hips were lifted in line with our knees. You're welcome to rock uh, a little bit side to side. Get into the ankles, the knees. Try to be tall in the spine. I like to bring my fists together. Some people like to bring their palms together in the middle. And then go ahead and find a forward fold. And as you fold, you can bring the feet back to hips width distance apart. And a way you can measure that is to use two fists in between the arches of your feet. And then once you find that, your feet will be about hips width distance apart. Let your head drop low, bring the weight forward into your toes, bend the knees and find a hang. Let your upper body hang over the lower body. <sighs> and then find the energy, go through a few rounds of lifting and lowering. So we lift and we're in this little squat and then we lower and we're in this forward fold. So as the hips drop, the head lifts and as the hips lift, the head drops. Use your hands if you want. Sometimes I like to reach the arms forward. Try to keep your upper body connected to your lower body. So for me, my legs never fully straighten. They always keep a bend in them because that's what's required if I keep my upper body tied to my lower body. I know this might feel quite tiring, but you're building lots of good strength and mobility. Keep going here for five. Four. Three, two, on one, squat down and this time drop the knees out in front of you and set up for camel pose. We're not gonna go into the full back bend unless you want to. We're gonna start with some half camel poses, opening up our side bodies. So from camel pose, sit tall. I like to do this with the toes tucked but you can certainly do this flattening the feet on the ground behind you. We'll start out by bringing our left hand to our left heel. If you want, you can kind of sit back and then we'll sweep the right arm around to create a side stretch. Now I like to kind of move around, but one thing stays constant, which is that my hips are pushing forward and I'm trying to remind myself to engage the glutes. And then release and switch sides. So take it over to the right. Drive the hips forward and then stretch your right or your left side body. Again, I like to open and close a little bit. I like to scrape the edges until it becomes a little bit more smooth feeling. And then sweep it over, take the other side. And 
and then switch, take the other side. Feel things opening up. Feel a gratitude for your ability to open things up. And then last round, one more each side. Left hand, left foot, go for it. And if you wanna to rotate to full camel and roll the right hand down to the right heel, please feel free to do so. I'm not quite ready for that yet, but if you want to, you can. When you're ready, switch and take your final side. When you feel complete, release and take a child's pose. Option to go knees wide and then fold or go knees together and then fold, reach the arms back. When you're ready to release out of your child's pose, you're welcome to lift up. Bring your legs around just so that you can lay onto your back. As you lay onto your back, prepare for your final active posture. We'll take a bridge pose, just one round of bridge pose. You've got this. This is where we kind of complete uh, the active part of our practice. Go ahead and press the feet into the floor and then bridge the hips up to the sky. Engage the glutes, feel the inner thighs energetically hugging toward one another. You're here for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly release. Bring the feet together, open the knees wide, supta, bada, konasana, reclined, bound, angle. You could place the hands on the body, or you're welcome to reach the arms overhead with a bend in the elbows. You could even reach to grab opposite elbows and find a nice shoulder stretch. Breathe deeply into your belly.
You're welcome to stay where you are or stretch the legs out and find your Shavasana position. And let's give ourselves a couple minutes just to rest and find stillness in Shavasana. The symbolism in Shavasana is that we are becoming nothing. We're wiping the slate clean. We're releasing the practice that we just did and we're releasing any attachments we have. We're becoming a seed of our future selves with a fresh spring on the horizon. Give yourself the chance to settle into the winter, the stillness, the quietness, and we'll give ourselves some time to find that stillness right now. Shavasana. Feel the stillness, feel the calmness, feel the breath move its way through your body. Maybe you take another few deep breaths here into the belly. and begin transitioning to a seated position. As you get to your seat, bring your hands to heart center. We'll end the practice with the sound of one ohm. Go ahead and inhale. is just a reminder of the sacred thread of consciousness that we have within us and that all beings share. Om is the representation of the universal consciousness that weaves between all things, all times, all spaces. Om is a reminder of the sacredness and the divinity that exists in every subtle vibration 
that we could ever experience. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I thank you for joining me for this energetic practice. And hopefully that uh, Shavasana at the end was nice. Have an amazing rest of your day. Can't wait to do it again soon. Peace.